I'm going to discuss a very good song by the band called Breaking Benjamin and this is from their upcoming album Ember and the name of the song is Down so before going to the song I would like to discuss the tuning of the guitar so the whole guitar is in drop A sharp or drop B flat tuning which is a two whole step down and then put your sixth string drop down to B flat or at par with the fourth string just like this so basically the fourth string and the sixth string are in same tune which is same note which is B flat so for those who are uh, new in kind of tuning like this I would like to recommend you you can use any kind of digital tuner to tune your guitar otherwise I am going to pick one string at a time you can tune with it and you can get started with me so here is the first string second string third string fourth string fifth string and the sixth string so the first riff kind of sounds like this so basically this is a bunch of sliding going on so first of all I'm sliding from fifth string seventh fret to open Then I'm playing 6th string 2nd fret. So, then 6th string open, then slide from 6th string 2nd fret to 6th string 8th fret. I mean 6th string 7th fret. So, then you play 5th string 8th fret. So the pattern up to this extent kind of sounds like this. Then again slide from 5th string 7th fret to 5th string open. Then play 6th string 2nd fret again. Then open. Then play slide from 6th string 2nd fret to 6th string 6th fret. Then play 5th string 5th fret. So the whole pattern up to this extent sounds like this. Then again play. And then play this riff, uh, this portion. So this is basically E power chord which is 2nd fret, 6th string, 5th string and 4th string then open then again 2nd fret then 6th fret same shape then again open so ok so the whole riff slowly kind of sounds like this so the next riff kind of sounds like this So basically what I'm playing, I'm playing E power chord which is 2nd fret, 6th, 5th and 4th string for 2 times palm muted with your right hand palm then 1 open mute then again 6 uh, E power chord so then again open so sorry 
then again play 16 second fret uh, 16 second fret which is um, e power chord so then then open then again second fret then play g power chord open which is 6 fifth and fourth strings fifth fret open okay so Again, play the same pattern. Then slide from this portion shape to this is basically a C power chord. This is 10th fret, 6th string, 5th string, and 4th string. And play the same pattern, like in same style, like first muted. Then play. This is basically D power chord. So two times C power chord, then one time D power chord, which is 12 fret. Then again play C power chord, then again D power chord. So then again play the same pattern. Then at in the end. Instead of playing D power chord, you have to play this power chord open, which is C added 9 power chord, which is you have to just put your pinky in the 12th fret or 4th string and put your index finger on 6th string and 5th string, 10th fret. So, put your pinky on 12th fret of 4th string. So, the pattern should sound like this. Then again, repeat the first portion. Then play this portion. So, 6 time 6 string 10th fret then 2 time open then 4 times 6 string 10th fret so 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 ok so the whole pattern should slowly sounds like this So this is for the second time, okay. For the first time you have to play like this, okay. So the whole lead, let me show you slowly, then you will understand what I am trying to say. So. So guys, there are coercive kind of sounds like this. So, I'm playing first. This is the E power chord. Put your index finger on the 6th, 5th and 4th string, 2nd fret. Then a C power chord, put your index finger on 5th string, 3rd fret and pinky on 4th string, 5th fret. Then a G power chord, put your index finger or middle finger, whichever you feel comfortable. Uh, on 6th string and 5th string, 4th, I mean 5th fret. Then play this chord. This is basically a D power chord and third on the top. This is the third note of B. So this is G 
give a little different kind of flavor, a little shadish. So put your index finger on 6th string 4th fret, put your middle finger on 5th string 5th fret and put your pinky on 4th string 7th fret. So after this, this extent, the rip kind of sounds like this. And in the second portion, I'm playing C power chord again, then uh, G power chord, then uh, D power chord, uh, F sharp one chord. Okay, so. So this two uh, chord progression is going on, on the chorus section. So the next rip kind of sounds like this. which is 6th, 5th and 4th string 2nd fret then I am playing uh, harmonics on 4th string above the 5th fret so put your uh, ring finger on 4th string 5th fret above the fret not the inside the fret above the fret like this kind of natural harmonics should come out so sorry Again, play uh, E. So, for three times, then E, open E, G, then again open. So, second fret, open, second fret, slide to fifth fret, open. So, then play C power chord. Five, four times each for five times like one two three four five 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 so the whole pattern should slowly sounds like this Next rip kind of sounds like this. So what I'm playing, I'm playing first E power chord, then open, then E power chord again, then this is G sharp power chord, which is sixth fret of sixth, fifth, and fourth string. So second fret, open. 2nd fret, slide to 6th fret, then open again, so, then play, 2nd fret, open, 2nd fret, 3rd fret, which is F power chord, so, then play, again 2nd fret, open, again 2nd fret, then C power chord, so, Sorry. Then again open. So after this extent, this riff should sound like this. Sorry. Sorry. Then you play. You have to mute. You have to ring the E power chord for two times and then mute so ring mute ring mute so then open and then mute then again E ring then mute so okay open so 
the riff slowly kind of sounds like this. So let's see the short broken portion, clean portion and the uh, little solo kind of riff section which are going on in this song in the next section. So when the palm muted riff is going on like this, there is a little solo section behind this, I mean the filler section behind this is going on and it kind of sounds like this. Sorry, it's a little tough to play on acoustic guitar. I'm playing 14th fret on 4th string, then I'm playing 12th fret on 2nd string, then I'm playing 13th fret and the 15th fret of the 2nd string. So first play 4th uh, string, 14th fret, then 2nd string. 12th fret, so then play 4th string 14th fret and 2nd string 13th fret, so then play 2nd string 12th fret, so then play 2nd string 15th fret, then play 2nd string 13th fret, then 2nd string 12th fret. Then, so, so second string, fifteen fret, thirteen fret, twelve fret, thirteen fret, twelve fret. So if it's a little bit confusing. Let me just show you a little slow, then you will understand. So. You have to play this riff for three times like this. Then you have to play four string uh, fourteen fret, third string eleven fret, third string twelve fret. Then again third string eleven fret. So. Then again play 3rd string 12th fret Then again play 3rd string 11th fret So Then 3rd string 14th fret Then 3rd string 12th fret 3rd string 11th fret 3rd string 12th fret And at last 3rd string 11th fret So slowly sounds like this So the whole riff slowly sounds like this. Sorry. Then you have to play the same shape in acoustics a break so So I'm playing from lower 2nd string 13th fret, 3rd string 12th fret and 4th string 14th fret. So play this shape, then again play 2nd string 13th fret, then 2nd string 12th fret, then 2nd string 10th fret. So. And in the second portion, you play up to this extent. Then instead of playing this note, you have to play third string 11th fret. So, so, 
So there is a, another small filler is going on behind this riff. And it kind of sounds like this. So basically I'm playing 1st string 12th fret then 2nd string 13th fret then 1st string 15th fret and then 1st string 12th fret I mean 10th fret so this section I'm playing for 2 times and then So you have to play 2nd uh, string 13th fret then 3rd string 12th fret then 4th string 14th fret so then 2nd string 12th fret 2nd string 14th fret I mean 3rd string 12th fret 3rd string 14th fret so then 2nd string 12th fret then 2nd string 13th fret, 2nd string 15th fret, then 4th string 14th fret, then uh, half step bend from 3rd string 11th fret to 3rd string 12th fret. Like this, sir. So the whole filler slowly sounds like this. So these are the all riff sections uh, in this song guys. So if you have any kind of problem regarding playing this song, uh, don't uh, forget to comment down below so that I can reach to you and I can help you out. And those who are uh, new to this channel, I would like to tell you that please subscribe to this channel. I just post any kind of lesson or cover, you will get the notification. And those who already subscribe, I would like to tell you that please share this video with your friends so that they can learn this song very easily so that's it guys for today i'll see you in the next video goodbye guys